Hello, this is Tom Bird, one of the senior meteorologists here at the National Weather Service office here in El Paso, and we're bringing you a quick brief on a strong storm system to swing through the region to bring a variety of potentially impactful weather to the borderland uh, this evening through Wednesday. First thing we'll do is we'll take a look at this static satellite imagery and you notice the upper level low sitting off the California coast. That's the storm system that will be moving through. Ahead of it, it's pulling in plenty of moisture and this strong storm has a lot of dynamics associated with it. So it's going to bring a, a wide variety of, of impactful weather to the borderland uh, beginning tonight and lasting at least through Wednesday uh, through the day. Here's what we're looking at, uh, thunderstorms, uh, we're looking at isolated thunderstorms, mainly from the Rio Grande Valley uh, towards the east tomorrow during the day. Uh, some of those storms could possibly be severe with some hail and damaging wind. Also, we're looking at uh, some high wind and some dust, not only tomorrow, but again on Wednesday. The dust uh, potential is stronger on Tuesday, especially for the Rio Grande Valley eastward. Not so much on Wednesday when we're a little bit cooler, we won't be able to raise as much dust, but the winds will be stronger on Wednesday than they will be tomorrow. And also, uh, as the system moves in, uh, we'll get some cooler air into the region. Snow levels will drop across the mountains. So we're looking at some snow in the Gila as early as midday tomorrow and then over the sacks in the evening hours uh, tomorrow. And down there on the below, you can see above 6,000 feet, 1 to 2 inches, 2 to 4 inches above 7,000 feet, 4 to 8 inches above 8,000 feet. And then finally, uh, ahead of the snow uh, levels dropping, we're expecting a fair amount of rain across some of the higher terrain in the Gila region where there's snow on the ground. And what that means for tonight through Wednesday is a possibility of of some rapid snow melt with this rain falling on the snow and melting it that could lead to some river rises across the uh, southwestern portions of New Mexico. This is our hazards matrix that we put out twice a week and you can just see how much active weather we have on there with some minor and moderate uh, threats and hazards across the region. If you look at Tuesday and Wednesday that's when uh, we expect most of our impacts across uh, our area. And I've circled all the various uh, things that we're looking at, very strong winds, isolated thunderstorms, numerous uh, rain showers, uh, mountain snow, and uh, we didn't even have room enough to put the wind and the dust that we're expecting Tuesday and again on Wednesday. So multiple threats. We're looking at uh, a late deep season uh, upper level storm system that's going to be moving off the Pacific across the northern Baja uh, tonight. It'll move into southern Arizona tomorrow and then track across New Mexico on Wednesday. As it moves in tonight we'll start seeing the rain expand across New Mexico and into far west Texas. A strong cold front will push from west to east across the region uh, during the day tomorrow. So that's Tuesday. We expect that Pacific front to move out of Arizona and then move across southern New Mexico during the day tomorrow. Snow levels will drop across the Gila region during the afternoon on Tuesday. Strong winds and areas of blowing dust are expected along and ahead of that eastward pushing front on the day on the day uh, during the day on Tuesday. Snow levels uh, will then drop across the Sacramento Mountains overnight Tuesday as the cold front passes in the early evening hours. Scattered and numerous lowland rain and mountain snow will continue overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, the precipitation will begin to diminish as the storm system begins to lift out of the area, but a much deeper low pressure at the surface will bring stronger winds across the region. It will be a cold and windy day on Wednesday. Here's a look at the storm progression uh, as we see it uh, from tonight through Wednesday. Uh, looking out off of the Baja, you see that little L, that's the low pressure system that will be moving in. And then over Arizona, you see a, another L with a, a cold front pushing in, and that's tonight at midnight. Tomorrow morning, that cold front will be very much near the Arizona-New Mexico line and be progressing towards the east with that upper level system also moving across the Baja. Uh, tomorrow at noon, we see uh, that cold front moving across southwestern New Mexico, and that's when the snow will start developing over the mountains in that region. Ahead of that will be the strong winds and the blowing dust uh, with mainly rain showers. And then if you look in the afternoon hours there on the right for Tuesday, uh, you see a lot more of the purples and blues. That's precipitation in the form of, uh, of frozen 
So we're talking about snow across the mountains starting to develop. You see the lowlands remain green. Um, that's all behind the front. It'll be cooler, but not cold enough to snow across the lowlands. Uh, the winds will turn more westerly and continue strong through the afternoon hours tomorrow. Then we get into Wednesday morning. That front's well out of the area. Got cooler air in place. We still have uh, some precipitation across the region, but it will begin to diminish. The mountains still purple at this point in time there on the left, so it'll be snow. And then on the right-hand side, and that's the afternoon, you see that strong low pressure system up in Kansas with that cold front dragging through New Mexico. Cool air moving in, very strong gradient, bringing really high winds on the day uh, Wednesday, possibly some damaging winds. Uh, dust will probably be limited due to the colder air, but it will be stronger winds. So here's what we look like for the storm threat. The thunderstorm threat, this is tomorrow, uh, the threat of severe is mainly to the east. And so if you go from uh, El Paso, Las Cruces and eastward uh, across our area, there's a, a marginal threat of severe thunderstorms. That would be uh, some of those producing damaging wind or, or small to moderate size hell. As you move further east out of the area, the threat increases but that's well east of where we expect us to have any weather. To the west of this area there will be a few general thunderstorms not very strong but isolated in nature. Now looking at the wind and the dust threat on the left is Tuesday. You can see the stronger wind gusts are from basically the Rio Grande Valley eastward and that's where we have we think the best potential for dust. Winds will be more southerly that'll be ahead of the front uh, to the west where you see gusts in the 20 mile per hour range, that's with and along and behind the front with cooler air, not expecting as much dust out that way. On the right hand side, Wednesday, uh, you have localized areas of dust possible, but with the cooler air in place behind the frontal passage on Tuesday, we don't expect as much dust. But if you notice the winds are much stronger, um, we can see gusts in the 70 to 80 mile per hour range easily, maybe even stronger, upwards of 90 miles an hour in some of the passes, some of the higher exposed and east slope range. Uh, but otherwise, generally you're looking at winds in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range across the region. Those will be westerly winds and pretty chilly also. Looking at rain and snow forecast, this is a pretty wet system. So on the left there, you're looking at our, our forecast for total, total storm precipitation, whether it be snow or rain. If you were to melt that down, it's you're looking at a quarter to half an inch across much of the region. As you go north, there's more rain, uh, up to three quarters of an inch. And you can see the mountains are looking at an inch to an inch and a half uh, across the area mountains for rainfall. On the right-hand side is what we expect for snow from uh, tonight through Wednesday night and so you're seeing it's mainly limited to the area mountains so the lowlands will stay rain but the mountains will get anywhere from four to six and even six to eight inches as you get higher in elevation and that would be from tomorrow afternoon mainly and through Wednesday uh, so there will be impacts of snow up in the mountains. Also, we talked about the rain falling on the snow tomorrow uh, in the southwestern mountains in the Gila region this is a forecast of one of the river gauges on the Gila River near Verdon, New Mexico. And uh, they're showing a forecast of a spike in the river levels um, getting into that action stage at that, uh, at that uh, gauge site. So there is the potential that we could see some, some minor flooding uh, along the river uh, accesses uh, right there on the Gila out west. And that would be... Um, tomorrow during the day and those rays, rises would, would continue into and through the day on Wednesday. The current watches and advisories, they're on the left, it's our high wind watch and it covers most all the area and uh, that's mainly for Wednesday. We expect that some areas tomorrow may have some wind speeds uh, approaching 40 miles an hour which is the threshold but on Thursday, on Wednesday we really do expect much of the region to have uh, winds that are 40 miles an hour and stronger uh, sustained with gusts, like I said, 50, 60, 70, 80, maybe even 90 miles an hour, uh, which would cause some damage to both vegetation and structure. On the right hand side, you got your snow advisories, and those are, like we said earlier, just limited to the area mountains, uh, Tuesday afternoon and, and overnight in the Gila. 
and then Tuesday night into Wednesday in the Sacramento Mountains. And that's for snow totals of three to, to five inches and, and higher across those regions. So a summary of the impacts that we expect for tomorrow, isolated thunderstorms mainly from the Rio Grande River and areas to the east. Some of them may become severe, which would mean isolated areas with possible wind damage and large hail, enough to cause damage also. So for tonight and into early Tuesday, out in the Gila region, we expect some rain falling on top of that snowpack, which would lead to uh, uh, some excessive runoff due to uh, quick melting of that snow. That would be subsequent rises along area streams in the Gila area. For today, uh, or Tuesday through Wednesday, uh, strong winds from the south uh, and from the southwest will allow for areas of blowing dust. Uh, possible road closures with uh, uh, due to limited visibility. Uh, the stronger winds on Wednesday will allow for damage to vegetation and possible damage to structures. Snow levels, uh, we talked about snow, they'll start out pretty high, but they'll lower to around 8,000. Oh, that's, I should have took that out. There's the snow levels I meant to mention right there. Tuesday, snow levels will start out above 8,000 feet, but should lower around 6,500 feet by midday across the Gila. The lower later in the day across the Sacramento's in the evening hours as the front makes it through there. Sink visit snow level accumulation should be limited to elevations above 7,000 feet. Slick mountain roadways are expected with possible temporary road closures with the higher amounts of four to eight inches snow possible above uh, eight to seven to 8,000 feet. So that concludes the briefing. If you have any questions, uh, look at these contacts here and uh, get in touch with us or give us any storm reports you got. We appreciate your time. Thank you for listening.